Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you have never heard of me before, I am a mid-sized personal shopper, stylist, body positivity advocate. I also love putting together style requests that you guys send over on if you've got a outfit dilemma or if you just wanna know anything about the up and coming trends and how to wear them in a realistic way, then that is why my channel is for you. I have been missing in action, so I just wanted to apologize straight away for being gone for the summer, but autumn winter is definitely my spirit animal. I just come alive as soon as September the first happens. I feel like I've literally just come back to life. So with that, today we are gonna do my 15 essential autumn everyday items that are gonna really build your wardrobe and you're never gonna be thinking, oh my God, what do I wear? How can I wear this? Everything that I'm gonna suggest to you today works together to create this really gorgeous staple wardrobe for autumn and start to shop for autumn items on your favorite sites like H&M, Zara, New Look, anywhere you love to shop, then this guide is gonna give you an idea of exactly what to search for and make it easier than scrolling through for hours to see what you like and then it arriving and not really knowing how to wear it as an outfit. So that being said, let's get going and I'm excited to be back with you guys for this first autumn video I just want to make things right as I said, autumn is one of my favorite times of the year and that is because layering is just so important. Layering different textures, starting with those outfit building pieces and building the outfit around them to create lots of different looks. So there's so many ways you can rewear something in autumn and take it all the way through to winter and then even into spring. So first thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a good pair of black leggings. You cannot go wrong with a good pair of black leggings whether that's a black matte legging or a leather style legging. I'm gonna move over to the side here so we can talk through some outfit looks. So first of all, I have got these black leggings to show you. These ones are from Gymshark. I did actually do a full try on haul of this collection from Gymshark Whitney Simmons last year around this time. They have actually launched this collection in summer this time with different shades. So I know these leggings are quite hard to come back into stock. However, I want to show you them because they are the, my favorite black leggings I've ever had. They're just unbelievable. So it would be a good idea if you are looking for the perfect black legging to sign up to back in stock on Gymshark for these. However, I do also love nipping to TK Maxx and they always have really good selection of yoga pants. And these are just my, go to black leggings to put with outfits and build outfits around because they're a really nice thick black legging. You can drop on in DK Maxx and find the most amazing black thick leggings for such an affordable price. So this first outfit I'm putting together here is just my, my go to every day. So say I need to go to run errands, take the dog for a walk, nip somewhere. I just wanna feel put together, go for a walk, meet my friend, anything. It's just my everyday go to outfit for autumn, perfect for picking the kids up from school, whatever your preference is of what you need to do for an everyday look, whether it be the weekend or evenings or anything like that, depending on what your job is, then this is my go-to. So I love to pair a really simple black pair of leggings with a hoodie or a knit jumper and it's just a really basic comfortable outfit that you're gonna have to think too much about. The key for these kind of basic outfits for me is always accessorizing and layering it up, as I mentioned, with coats. So these vest looks are very versatile and you can dress them up and dress them down, but if, if you are gonna go for a basic black legging, not a leather legging, then I would always suggest these are more of a casual, um, not really a nighttime look. So as I mentioned, this video is very much focusing on everyday items, so what you would wear and pick up and think, oh, I need to put something together quickly, then that's the kind of vibes I'm going for with these outfits. Some boots or trainers, a nice cross body bag, and it's just gonna really bring that all together. Or my personal favorite at the moment, and was a really big thing for me last autumn, winter, is gilet. So I love to wear a hoodie with a gilet over the top or a jumper underneath and a gilet over the top, long sleeves. I just think gilets are just such a great way to add a layering and texture and colors to an outfit 
um, without looking too bulky. Obviously, if you wear a big puffer coat and things like that, it can add a lot of mass to you. Whereas having your arms out with a long sleeve top and then a gilet over the top, I think actually looks really cool, contemporary, but also bringing like lots of textures and colors to your outfit to make it look a little bit more fresh, um, but also keeping you warm at the same time. Again, this looks really cool with leather leggings if you wanted to do a bit more of a dressier look. Obviously, as we approach winter there's markets shopping things like that where you want to look a little bit more put together than just how you would look to go run errands or walk the dog then you know adding a leather legging and a nice boot can really dress this outfit up but there are so many amazing knitted jumpers oversized jumpers on the market at the moment h&m zara cos uh, mango new look all great brands i'm going to link loads of different ones down below in the description if you wanted the ease of just shopping some of my suggestions then i've popped them down below in the description and if there's anything from this video that i've included in these little clips that i've not added down below just comment and i will find the link for you no problem also with hoodies i've mentioned a few times on instagram that i love to go for a thinner hoodie i feel like if you go for something a little bit too bulky you can find these really thick like almost masculine hoodies that are in um right now for me and someone of my size i just feel like it adds a lot of mass then adding a coat and then adding a gilet over the top or a puffer jacket you you kind of end up like a little bit like this so i always like to go for a thinner hoodie you can find them online again i'll link some suggestions down below they're always a little bit more fitted on the seam no drop sleeves i hate drop sleeves i feel like they just look so unflattering on your shoulders if you go for something that's like starting a seam down here i always like to go for a seam on the shoulder and it's always so much more flattering than a drop sleeve which is adding kind of mass and more length to this area making it look wider then another favorite of mine for outfit building pieces in autumn has to be my all-time favorite which is the bodysuit you guys might already know i started my own brand called ELR style which really focuses on outfit building pieces the bodysuit is the main focus of my line i do it in so many different colors different styles and i'm really focusing on this idea of sustainable wearable pieces you can wear multiple different ways throughout any different season with any product that you have and that you're never going to be in this situation where you think oh my god what am i going to wear you always have a really nice put together bodysuit that's smart thick very good quality material really works to shape your body almost like shapewear and then you're putting it on with all of these different outfits from jeans leggings skirts dresses, anything you want to do to layer them up, they're going to look great underneath because these are the most crucial outfit building necessities in your wardrobe. Just recently launched these new bodysuits which are this t-shirt style and they sold out within two hours, it was crazy. We have just ordered a restock so they'll be coming back in stock soon but I just love these to wear with different looks throughout autumn as we transition into a colder climate. These are great transitional pieces to add to your wardrobe to wear with jeans like I've styled here for a more dressy look or if you wanted to do more casual with joggers or again if you wanted to wear it for work these are really good transitional pieces and a big trend i'm seeing at the moment is these t-shirt bodysuits but i also love the staple simple bodysuit which we call the elr which is a high neck no sleeve these look great again in all these different scenarios i love to layer these up they look great with leggings they look great to have as a piece underneath a hoodie or if you get too hot and you think oh my god i need to take this hoodie off then you're going to have a nice piece on underneath that's working to pull you in in all the right places and create that really nice aesthetic look and it looks great dressed up with jeans it can work really well just thrown on with joggers or whatever you needed for like a really simple casual look with accessories then the bodysuits are my go-to i just feel like they go with every single item that you could possibly think of they look gorgeous dressed up with a wrap skirt or anything that you are wanting to put together for autumn to create a really gorgeous aesthetic look that you feel comfortable in but also stylish and flattering you all at the same time as part of that look, I've also suggested these skinny jeans. A lot of people are anti-skinny jean at the moment. They're really into mum jeans. I do love a mum jean, but you cannot be a skinny jean. I feel like if you are somebody who is the same size as me, 12 to 14, then a skinny jean is actually a really great way to create shape. Because sometimes if you're gonna wear something baggy on top and then baggy on the bottom, it's gonna drown you. It's gonna be too much clothing. It's too much mass. You wanna have either a baggy top and a tight bottom or a tight or a baggy bottom and a tight top. It just looks so much better when you do this for our body shapes um, and also just looks more put together personally. So if I'm gonna wear a baggy mum jean, this one is from Boohoo, which I really like, then I'm gonna put it with my black ELR bodysuit and I'm gonna dress it up and then I'm gonna put a blazer over the top. So it's still creating a bit more 
oversized look here but you can really see that the shape is created on my waist and then the oversized jeans are working to be, be really on trend but also comfortable looks great with trainers or you could wear it with a heel and dress it up at night crossbody bag over the shoulder bag whatever your personal preference um, and then again the blazers and jeans look really cool together if you wanted to do a look like I showed you with the white t-shirt bodysuit where you wear a crop blazer or you wear a long blazer with a bodysuit underneath and tight jeans or you could even put like an oversized t-shirt underneath that if you're wearing a skinny jean. I also wanted to touch on footwear because I think footwear is so crucial to autumn and I'm going to do a separate video on my favourite shoes and trainers and everything for autumn that will be coming in in a few weeks when i wait for all the good bits to drop so we can share them because i felt there's always some really nice boot trends that happen around the time of year that i want to share a dedicated video to however i do love this time of year just a really simple white trainer you can't go wrong these ones are from new look but i also have the oswegos from adidas they look great with lots of different um everyday outfits for september again Ugg boots, love them or hate them. I absolutely loved them last year to wear with loads of different outfits. They're just so comfortable. I am gonna buy a new pair because mine have been abused all year from walking the dog in them because they're just so comfortable. Again, a nice boot. I love to go for a boot like this one because I feel like if you are looking for a boot that's more flattering to wear with tights, these ones work really well to go with jeans, but also to wear with tights and dresses because they have this little bit of elastic around the ankle. It's not creating more size around the ankle, it's actually molding to your ankle, which creates a bit more of a flattering shape, which I absolutely love. And I feel like they just go with so many looks. You can get them out every single year. They don't date, they're so simple play go with everything and look really classy black boot that will last you a long time those ones are from public desire but i will find some others again and link them down below talking of boots and tights i also wanted to share one of my favorite looks which is the wrap dress so wrap dresses do so well throughout summer and then you can transition them into autumn winter by adding some tights and boots for me the crucial thing here is not to go for summery colors so if you see a color like light green or pastel colors then put with tights it can really clash and just not work you want to be going for polka dot warm tones like this any of these nice warm tones here you want to be going for those in wrap dresses to put with black tights nothing that's pastel nothing that's summery nothing that's white and clashing abstract you want to be going for tones that are nice and warm that are going to go really well with black tights boots and then a really nice camel coat or black overcoat over the top just to bring it all together or one of my personal favorites is the cropped jumper i think it can really reinvent a dress or a skirt that you've worn in summer and just bring it through to autumn you can either do it with bare legs tights or boots i just think it looks really nice put together and loads of you guys love this look from last year that i reposted it a few times because it was doing so well with people asking where everything was from the dress there is from pretty little thing and the crop jumper i think is new look but i've also redone a new version of that as well which i will share with you very soon also i love a shacket in autumn the only thing i'm going to say about shackets is i do feel like they are coming to the end of their reign and i wouldn't if you if you don't already have one i wouldn't go out of my way to buy one right now instead i would concentrate on finding a really nice flattering coat a formal coat that you can dress up and down by layering it in different ways and again a blazer you cannot go wrong with tailoring this season i feel like tailoring is huge lots of waistcoats coming through underneath blazers and investing in a really nice black blazer will be the best decision you ever make new look have some great ones primark zara zara blazers unbelievable missy empire i've linked loads down below for you and the same with bodysuits and leggings finding a really good one that you love and gonna keep and get out every season is crucial because it is a really good investment piece to have so spending a little bit more money on these items does i think make a big difference you know spending six pounds on a bodysuit or versus spending 31 pounds on a bodysuit like ours are difference in the longevity of the product is definitely going to show when you're washing it and wearing it a lot compared to something that's six pounds so i wanted to touch on that buying a little bit more expensive for it to last a lot longer and be more sustainable is also very important when it comes to autumn because you know you want to be able to get these pieces that you're going to get out again next year and they're going to look great so i hope you found that helpful i know it was quite a quick 
intro video to autumn but i've got so much planned we have, i've got loads of stuff from h&m that i'm about to do a review on i've got some zara jeans i'm going to compare um i also am going to do a full autumn shoe haul like i said loads of stuff to come so please make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already and i hope you found this video helpful for what you need to shop for moving forward with your autumn wardrobe getting those outfit building pieces is really going to make a difference and you're not just going to be scrolling for hours on H&M website thinking I like that top and I like that dress how can I make it work together hopefully these outfit ideas I've put together are going to be really helpful for you moving into this colder period of the year thank you so much for watching I will catch you guys super soon bye